Hi, my name is Nathan McAndrew and I play for the Sydney Thunder and welcome to our online Thunder Literacy Session. At Sydney Thunder, we aim to be a loved club that inspires and unites our Thunder Nation. We value the importance of reading and education and through our Thunder Literacy Program, we want to inspire young boys and girls to develop a lifelong love of reading. It's incredibly important to be both physically active, but also to learn through reading. Today, I'll be reading Eat Well by Angela Royston. This book's about food, so this is going to be enjoyable to read. First chapter is called Enjoy Your Meal. We eat food to stay healthy and well. We like the taste and it stops us feeling hungry. Food keeps us healthy so that you can enjoy yourself. This book tells you about the different kinds of food your body needs. Some foods give you energy, other foods help you to grow strong. The food pyramid. The food pyramid shows you how much of each different kind of food you should eat. Try to eat mostly the kinds of food at the bottom of the pyramid. You should eat some of the food shown in the middle every day, but only eat a little of the kinds of food shown at the top. The food in each part of the pyramid helps, you, helps your body in different ways. So here we see the pyramid. Down the bottom we've got bread, cereal, rice and pasta. We've got vegetables and fruit. Our dairy, milk, yogurt and cheese. Our proteins, meat, fish, eggs and nuts. And up the top, we've got our cakes, sweets, fats and oils. So we want to try and eat as much of the stuff down here and try and eat the, the fatty stuff and the sugary stuff in moderation. A healthy mixture. What is your favorite food? I don't know if I've got an answer to that. I like all kinds of food. But this guy's answered with pizza as it has each part of the food pyramid on it. To keep healthy, you should eat a mixture of food from each part of the pyramid. Fruit and yogurt give you vitamins, protein and calcium, which are all very important. Energy food, it's a good one. All of these foods contain carbohydrates. Your body needs this kind of food to make energy. So here we can see some carbohydrates. So we've got bread, pasta, rice, and potato. Everything you do uses up energy. Moving, chewing, and even the beating of your heart. Eating a thick slice of toast gives you energy. Fruit and vegetables. This is a big one, very important. Make sure you eat plenty of fruit and vegetables. They contain vitamins, minerals, and fiber, which all help to keep you more healthy. Raw carrot is sweet and tasty. It has vitamins A and C. They help to keep your skin and eyes healthy, and they help your body fight diseases. So carrots are pretty important. Fiber, this is a good one. Food goes into your stomach. The good parts of the food pass into your blood. The rest passes out of your body when you go to the toilet. <laughs> These foods are, all contain fiber. Eating food with fiber in it helps your body to get rid of waste food. So we've got bread, grains, cereal, corn, and oranges. I didn't know oranges had fiber in it. There you go. Learn something new every day. Proteins. Your body is growing all the time. Proteins are special kinds of food. They help to build new bone, skin, muscle, and other parts of your body. Meat, fish, cheese, and baked beans all contain proteins. Eating these foods will help your body to grow bigger. Calcium. Calcium helps to build strong bones and teeth. Milk contains calcium. Yogurt and cheese are made from milk and so they contain calcium too. 
Bread often has calcium added to it, and broccoli and other green vegetables also contain this important mineral. Eat as many greens as you can. Fatty food. Sausages, burgers, ice cream, and many other foods contain fats. Your body needs some fat to keep warm, but don't have too much. Fats give you even more energy than carbohydrates. You may like crisps, chips, and ice creams, but if you eat too many, you may become fat. <laughs> Sugar. Many people like to eat chocolate, cakes, and biscuits. Sweet food and drinks may taste nice, but too much sugar can make you unhealthy. Sugar left in your mouth after eating damages your teeth. Remember to clean your teeth after eating and drinking sugary things. Allergies. Some people cannot eat certain foods because they are allergic to them. Milk and cheese make this girl's skin red and itchy. Peanuts make this girl sick. She always checks the ingredients of the things she eats. She has to make sure that there's no, pro, uh, no peanuts in them. Three meals a day. Most people eat three meals a day. A good breakfast gives you a lot of energy to start the day. What do you usually eat for breakfast? So what do you guys eat for breakfast? I eat uh, eggs on toast with avocado and spinach leaves um, and sometimes some salmon as well. So that's a nice fulfilling breakfast that gives me plenty of energy to go about my training throughout the day and also on game days. So what do you guys eat for breakfast? You may have a cooked lunch at school. Many people have another cooked meal in the evening. There's always sandwiches for me at school. Nutella sandwiches when I was younger. Healthy snacks. When you are hungry between meals, you may feel like a sugary snack. Think again. Choose a snack which tastes good and is healthy too. So here we've got an example of a few of the healthy snacks. We've got some banana. We've got a muesli bar. We've got some sultanas, some nuts, and some cucumber. So stick to those kind of healthy snacks when we can. Try and minimize our sugar. Making your own popcorn is fun. I've never actually made popcorn. I only get it from movies. Have you guys ever made popcorn? Make sure you have an adult to help you. Don't lift the pan lid until the corn has stopped popping. And that's a glossary of all the words we have in this book. And that's it. That's all of Eat Well. Thanks for tuning in to our online Thunder Literacy session. I hope that you enjoyed it and please make sure to keep an eye out for the next session. Happy reading, Thunder Nation.